Assalamu alaikum. Insha'Allah, today we are going to learn about a small incident that occurred in the life of our Holy Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. One day, the Prophet was having a meeting with his people inside a house. It was a usual meeting with people gathered around him to hear the words of wisdom and guidance. Suddenly, a poor man in rags appeared and he saluted the assembly. Assalamu alaikum. He found a vacant place and sat down comfortably. The Prophet وسلم, had taught them that all Muslims were brothers, and in an assembly one should sit wherever one finds a place, regardless of any status. Now, it so happened that this poor man was seated next to a very rich man. The rich man felt very disturbed and tried to collect the edges of his dress around himself so that the poor man didn't touch them. The Prophet وسلم, observed this, and addressing the rich man, he وسلم, said, Perhaps you are afraid that his poverty would affect you. No, O Messenger of Allah, the rich man said. Then, perhaps, you are afraid that your wealth may fly away to him. Asked the Prophet. No, O Messenger of Allah, the rich man said. Or you feared that your clothes would become dirty if he touched them. No, O Messenger of Allah. Then why did you draw yourself and your clothes away from him? Asked the Prophet. The rich man said, I admit, that was the most undesirable thing to do. It was an error, and I confess my guilt. Now to make amends for it, I will give away half of my wealth to this Muslim brother, so that I may be forgiven. Just as he said this, the poor man rose and said, O Prophet of Allah, I do not accept this offer, he said. People present were taken by surprise. They thought that the poor man was a fool, but then he explained, O Prophet of Allah, I refuse to accept this offer, because I fear that I might then become arrogant and ill-treat my Muslim brothers the way he did to me. The Prophet was very happy at this reply, and he praised him for his wisdom. The rich man bowed down his head, feeling ashamed. He realized what a fool he had been to offer his wealth to such a wise man. The people gathered around him were quite impressed too. The moral of the story is that true wealth is not measured by money and property. True wealth is created by one's compassion and kindness to others, irrespective of their status, color or faith.